When I was a little kid, I thought I wanted to be an astronomer. I took a geology class, and there was just something about having a rock in your hand, something you could hold and feel. I thought, you know, we have rocks from outer space. Maybe I'll study those. I study meteorites. I love meteorites. It's like an addiction for me because I love exploring the solar system through understanding these rocks and the places they come from. Life on Earth exists on two heat engines. One is the sun, but the other is the heat engine below our feet. And it drives the movement of the plates. It drove the differentiation of the planet. We've known for two centuries that our core was made of metal, but we haven't been able to explore it. We can't drill a hole that deep. We can't explore with any kind of submersible in the oceans. What we've been looking for for years is a metallic asteroid, something that's very dense, Psyche is an asteroid 200 kilometers across, thought to be metal rich. Psyche is our way to explore our own planet. We have meteorites fall to Earth. Some of them are little tiny pieces. Some of them are the size of cars. But compared to Psyche, they're just tiny little specks of dust. When I first started as a graduate student, we had never visited an asteroid, not any of them. Asteroids were points of light in the sky, and now they're real geologic places. They're places we can visit. More than the awe, more than the wonder, so we have this responsibility to do this right. And that's why this part is so important, what we're doing right now, designing these instruments, because that will determine whether we get the data that graduate students 10 years, 20 years, 30 years from now, we'll learn things about this asteroid that we can't even imagine today. It's the journey of a lifetime and I didn't want to miss it.